Hi there, welcome to our Mind Builders Hub and today we're going to discuss anything about or everything about the sun as the central and most significant celestial body in our solar system. Let me ask you, is this animation shows dusk or dawn? Let me see. So for our objectives, we need to first identify the characteristics of the sun and second give the importance of the sun. What do you know about the sun? For all we know, sun is massive, it's hot, it's luminous star that provides the energy and light essential to life on earth and governs the motion of the planets and other objects within the solar system. So let's talk about its nature in characteristic as being the sun. So like what I said before, being the center of the solar system, the sun is by far the largest and the brightest object in it. The sun comprises about 99.86% of the total mass of the solar system. It is one of the 100 billion stars in our galaxy and is the nearest one to the Earth. In our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy. And here's are the characteristics. The age of the sun is about 4.6 billion years. It has a life expectancy of about 10 billion years, which means it is middle ages or aged in its stellar evolution. The density of the sun is 1.41 grams per centimeter. And for you to get a density, you have to divide the mass to the volume. The diameter of the sun is 1,391,400 kilometers compared to the Earth, which is 12,756 kilometers. So, 109 times Earth diameter. The equatorial rotation will take 25 days. And the interior temperature is 15 million Kelvin, while the surface temperature of the sun is 6,000 degrees Celsius. It is a yellow dwarf compared to the other stars. And when it comes to the sun's atmosphere, yes, the sun have atmosphere. It is the part of the sun that we usually observe and clearly visible only during the total eclipse. So let's begin with the layers. One is called the photosphere. It is the inner layer of the sun's atmosphere and the main body of the sun. And that photo means it is the sphere that emits light. The temperature of the photosphere is about 6,125 degrees Celsius at the bottom and 4,125 degrees Celsius at the top. So what are the features of the photosphere? First, it has, or yes, it has granules. The granules covers the entire photosphere surface except those areas that are covered by the sunspots. There's the sunspots. Next, there are bubbles of hot gases that appear in cycle of bright dark spots. Look at those bubbles. The second feature of the photosphere we have the faculae. And this is the bright spot known as the little torches. Look at the little torches there. That exhibit sharp eruptions that last for about 15 minutes to one hour. 
Those are the faculates. Third, we have the sunspots. The sunspots are or appear as the dark spots because they are cooler areas on the photosphere where the temperature drops to about 3,700 Kelvin. Here's the sunspot. Next, the chromosphere. Chroma means color, which refers to the red uh, or reddish glow around the photosphere, which is observed using an instrument during solar eclipse. Look how it glows. And it is about 2,500 kilometer thick. The temperature may rises to 6,000 degrees Celsius to 20,000 degrees Celsius. A compose of the following. Solar flare, it is a tremendous explosion or eruption where there is a sudden release of energy that affects all the atmospheric layers of the sun and can, be, and can bombard Earth's electromagnetic waves in particles. There are storms happen near the sunspots and the explosion may reach 100,000 miles or more in space. This was captured 2016. The Earth could be rich 20 to 40 hours after the initial burst. When the charged particles are released from solar atmosphere, the atoms become excited, causing them to display light, cold, aurora, the dancing lights. Second is the presence of the solar prominence, or also known as the filament that appears as blowing arcs of rose-colored flame that occurs near the sunspots, usually during the solar cycle. There you go. It may extend about the chromosphere, above the chromosphere, after about 500,000 to 1 million miles in space. Last, we have the corona. This is the outermost layer of the solar atmosphere. It consists of hot gases which arc out from the solar disk in ionized gases found in its outer part that escape the gravitational pull of the sun. These escapes, escaped ionized gases are associated with the solar wind. The corona is visible during the total eclipse or total solar eclipse when the sun is totally covered by the moon. Its temperature is as hot as 1 to 2 million degrees Celsius due to the high kinetic energy of molecules in this corona, captured by the Parker Solar Probe. And what is this Parker Solar Probe? On a mission to touch the sun, NASA's Parker Solar Probe became the first spacecraft to fly through the corona the sun's upper atmosphere in 2021, with every ob orbit bringing it closer, the probe faces brutal heat and radiation to provide humanity with unprecedented observations visiting the only star we can study up close. The spacecraft is gradually orbiting closer to the sun's surface than any before it, well within the orbit of Mercury flying into the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere, the corona, for the first time. Parker Solar Probe is collecting measurements and images to expand our knowledge of the origin and evolution of solar wind. It also makes critical contributions to forecasting changes in the space environment that affect life and technology on Earth. So, in conclusion, the sun is a critical and fascinating celestial object that plays a central role 
in the solar system and life on Earth. It is a powerful source of energy in a subject on ongoing of ongoing scientific research and observation, offering valuable insight into astrophysics and social or solar dynamics. Thank you for watching and I hope you learn from our videos in the My Builders Hub. Thank you very much.